Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Sean Murray. I'm a guitarist, producer, and music director based in London. And today I'm going to talk you through and explain my artist preset for the Line 6 Helix, which I've got just over here behind me. All right, so for my preset, I tried to make two distinct tones. One which is like a really pristine, clean tone, and then the other one is kind of a bit more of a traditional, crunchy, electric guitar tone. So even though I've got the Helix over here behind me, I'm going to be showing off the preset using HX Edit on the computer. But yeah, let's dive into the computer and let's take a look at what's going on in the preset. So for the first clean tone, rather than just create like a simple guitar amp based clean tone, what I tried to do was use the various blocks and effects and tone shaping tools that are in the Helix to emulate a guitar plugging directly into a console. <laughs> So I've got various snapshots set up in the preset. Let me just go to the just clean setting, which gets rid of all of the chorus delay and reverb. And let's just take off all of the dry effects and show you basically how I crafted this. Okay, so this is the sound of my guitar plugged directly into the Helix, no effects applied and straight out to my audio interface. <laughs> So it's a very dry, boring DI tone. First up, I've got this preamp block. So the Helix is really cool because it allows you to take any of the preamps from the amp models and just use them standalone. So for this tone, I've used the Jazz Rivet 120 preamp because it's a solid state amp. I'm trying to emulate, you know, that kind of console tone. And I'm basically just using it to increase the gain, add a little bit more harmonics and using the EQ I've just kind of shaped the tone a little bit. So this is what it sounds like with the preamp. <laughs> Next up, I've got an EQ block, which is just shaping the tone a little bit and boosting some mid-range frequencies. And then I've got two compressors after that. The first compressor, I have it set up to be quite a fast attack, fast release compressor. And what that's basically doing is it's really squashing and catching the transients, the front end of each note. Then next up, I've got this LA Studio Comp. So this is the complete opposite type of compressor. And this is kind of more adding body and, you know, a nice kind of glue to the overall tone. This is what the two compressors together sound like. Next up, I've got a Cali Q graphic equalizer. And this is just, again, just further shaping the tone, making it sound a little bit nicer. Next up, I've just got a gate just to cut out any hiss and noise. So this is just the clean tone. And let's just go through some of the other snapshots. This is the clean tone with some lovely reverb. I've got another snapshot with the reverb here, but I'm adding some phaser before the reverb. I've got the reverb set up in parallel here, so I have complete control over the level of the reverb. And this phaser before it just kind of creates a nice, bit more interesting sweep on the reverb tails. So let me just play a sustained chord so you can hear that. And then lastly, I've got this full effects snapshot, which adds a 70s chorus and a vintage digital delay for uh, those authentic 80s tones. And um, all that together with the reverb, the chorus, the delay sounds like this. Moving over to the lead tone, this is just a bit more of a traditional guitar based uh, tone. This is what the amp and cab sound like with just a little bit of reverb. So it's just a very nice clean tone. What I like doing with single coil low output guitars is using the Minotaur overdrive block, not really as a distortion or an overdrive, but more as a clean boost. This type of drive has a very nice, distinct, low mid range boost. And that actually works really well to fatten up the single coil pickups. <laughs> Thank you. 
Next up, I've got another overdrive block. So yeah, that's just acting like another gain stage, which uh, stacks really nicely with the amp and the Minotaur overdrive. Next up, I've got a compressor, but I have it placed after all of the other dry effect blocks. I know a lot of people like to use compressors first in the chain because it kind of evens out their playing and it makes everything sound nice and nice and flat. But for me, I kind of think the opposite way. I always try to compress my overdriven sound because there's actually quite a lot of nuance and dynamics to overdrive. The way you play and the way you dig into a tone can change the amount of drive that goes on. And I think it's very apparent with this type of setup here. So this compressor is just kind of gluing everything together afterwards, adding a nice little bit of sustain, but not changing the overall dynamic of my playing into the overdrives, if that makes sense. Notice how it's still quite dynamic. Next up, I've got a gate just because single coils with this amount of gain can just get a little noisy. So this gets rid of it nicely. And then after that, I've just got a nice little elephant man delay blended in in parallel with the reverb. And then all together, you've got this. All right, so that was a quick look at my artist preset for the Line 6 Helix. Be sure to check out all of the other artist presets. There are so many amazing musicians also doing these, and uh, it's an absolute pleasure to be involved uh, with all of them. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned something. Uh, be sure to check out the preset, download it for yourself, and have a go. And uh, I hope you enjoy. hope you enjoy playing it. Cheers.